Hey what's up guys, this is FBMZ and today I'm going to be learning you, I'm going to be teaching you uh, how you can update your BIOS. So basically this this idea came out from uh, a couple of my subscribers because they wanted to know how to update their, their BIOS. Uh, so here it is. So basi uh, basically, before we get started, uh, be sure to comment down below for what video do you guys want to see next. And yeah, so... Let's get started. The first thing you guys are going to need to do is just to see uh, what version your BIOS is and the system mode of your PC or laptop. So to do that, you're going to press Windows key plus R and then you're going to type in MS Info 32. Basically, this is going to give you a summary information about your system and about your PC. So everything you need to know just right here, right here, system information. So let's go to the BIOS, um, BIOS version slash date. So mine is uh, American Mega Trends Incorporation X401 A1.211. So basically, this, this is the system model, as you can see right here, this one. And after the DOS sign, which is the 211, is, is the BIOS version. So we need to search on Google for the for my ASUS, for my for the name of my computer or my, of my laptop, laptop, which is ASUS, and then the system model, and then drivers. So let's go and do this. ASUS X four hundred one A drivers. You're gonna click on the and support and driver and tools. Uh, the first thing that comes up, and now you can uh, you're gonna choose your operating system. So since I'm running Windows ten, I'm gonna click on others. Let's click on it, and here is gonna list the drivers that are available for my system, for my computer, right? So what we're gonna do, just click on the BIOS. We have searched uh, six results right here. Click on the BIOS, and uh, you wanna click on the first link that comes up in the in the most updated ver version of the BIOS. So this is actually the version 211, which I'm using, as you can see here, 211. And there is an updated version which is 212. So that's what we want. So just click on do download form. I'm clicking global. Click on it to download it. And just wait a couple seconds. So there it is. I'm going to download. I'm going to download it with uh, IDME Internet Download Manager. Start download and it's completed. Click on open. Be uh, uh, be sure to have a flash drive with you and uh, just plug it on your PC. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to plug it. Just, just a second. All right, I plugged it on my PC. So there it is, uh, my USB. Uh, it's empty as you can see. Um, so I'm gonna click extract to USB 32 gigabyte and then press okay. So as you can see, there's the file right, right there. We close the mirror archive. And as you can see, there is only the file, the BIOS version of my USB. So now we need just to reboot our PC and access the BIOS. So let's go and do this. Alright, you guys. So once you are once you are in the BIOS, you know, then uh, you need to you need to go to the boot tab. Go to the boot tab and be sure that on the boot configuration, uh, launch. CSM and the launch PXE open room, it, uh, both of them options gonna be enabled. Be sure to enable them. Then click on advance and click on start easy flash. Click on it. So basically, this is going to know your. Uh, be sure to to keep your USB plugged in, so the BIOS is gonna be able to know your USB. So as, as you can see, you can see the BIOS. You can see, um, wait, uh, all right, so there it is, the version X401AS.212, uh, you need to click on the one, press one, and then uh, press enter, click on the file, press enter, and this is giving me this is giving me the option to do you want to update the bias or not? I'm gonna press yes, press on yes, and just wait until it's installed on your laptop. But guys, be sure to not unplug or to not interrupt you the installation of the bias, the updateation, because it's gonna cut it's gonna cause you some problems with your motherboard. Just let it finish its work and yeah, so let's 
let's wait until it's done right guys so it's all it's almost completed the racing the racing step completed uh, just uh, for about 15 to 20 seconds now it's programming start programming flash let's give it about maybe 12 seconds or the 20 seconds to complete so be right back all right this phase is almost completed as well let's wait and see what happened verifying and now finish very fine. Now it's gonna shut down after two seconds. So let's see. So it's gonna restart right now. Actually, it shut down. Now let's go and start the computer. Well, let's see. It shut down. Let's turn it on again. All right, it turned on. I was scared for a second. So here, 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 here uh, oh my god, man. So uh, as you can see, guys, for fuck's sake, uh, the bias version changed from uh, 211 to 212. So the dish, the the, the uh, bias update went uh, successfully. I'm so happy about this. So this is the method that you guys, uh, you can change the bias. If you have any questions, just comment down below, guys. So let's go to the desktop and show you guys the system information. So be right back. Alrighty, guys. So here I am back again. Now let's check the BIOS version. So let's go again to the Windows key and type in MS, MS Info32. And as you can see, the BIOS version changed now to 212. So we successfully updated our BIOS. So if you guys have any question or you are, uh, if you have any problem after updating the BIOS, just uh, comment down below and I will give you uh, an answer as, as soon as possible. And yeah, so if you like the video guys, be sure to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video. So peace out.